Some of the cooler things that we talk about on Pocket Now, at least Android related stuff, requires that you have root permissions on your Android powered phone or tablet. That's not terribly difficult, but it does require that you unlock your bootloader. Or does it? Today I want to show you a way that you can root your Galaxy Nexus without unlocking your bootloader. It's not for that faint of heart, but hopefully it won't be too bad for you. Let's go take a look. First of all, let's throw out some credit. This is based on an article that was posted on XDA Developers by Efrant, who gives credit to Binary. B-I-N-4-R-Y. That's leap for binary, I think. Uh, basically, what they've done is they've put together an ADB restore that kind of is an exploit and kind of does some cool stuff. So what you're going to need, of course, is a computer, because this involves ADB and some commands. You're going to need your Galaxy Nexus. You're going to need a uh, USB cable, micro USB, plugged into your computer. You're going to need some patience. You're going to need the uh, Android SDK. Uh, so yeah, that's, uh, that's the main stuff. Let's get to it. Next thing you're going to do is download some files, or one file in a zip, from uh, the XDA post. I'll have a link to that over at pocketnow.com. You're going to put that somewhere easily accessible. Then you're going to come over to your Android-powered device, your Galaxy Nexus in this case. We're going to open up Developer Options. That's in Settings. We're going to turn those on. Yes, we know we want to do that. And we are going to enable USB debugging, just like that. Say yes again. That's going to let us use ADB, the Android debugging bridge, to do some of this stuff. Next, we're going to push some files over. Step number four, we want to get this fake backup started. So we're going to paste that in. Again, ADB is our uh, friend here. We're going to run the restore command and pass to it the fake backup AB, which is this file right here. But we don't want to hit restore on our device. We uh, just want to enter this and then press the... Uh, the return key to make sure that's correct. Just enter the command in the command prompt on your PC, press enter. Okay, command entered and enter. There we go. Now, if I look down here on my Nexus, you'll notice I've got this uh, full restore prompt. I do not want to hit restore my data at this point. I want to leave it right here. Very important step. So the next thing, step five, is we are going to run an ADB shell command with a nice while loop inside it. And that is going to look just like this. Now essentially what we're doing here is we're running the exploit. While that's running, we want to hit restore on, on, our, uh, on our device, on our Galaxy Nexus. So let's go ahead, hit enter. It's running. Now let's hit restore. Restore is starting. Once it's finished, which it looks like it is, then I want to reboot my device. So it's all done at that point. Uh, to do this, I want to do an ADB reboot. So again, I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste just to make this easy. And once I've done that, my device turns off and it comes up and you'll notice I do not have an unlock down here, okay? So it's still just regular you know, bootloader locked, all that fun stuff. I still have some time to go. So, all kinds of fun. Once it's rebooted, oh, by the way, um, when this reboots, it's gonna be running in, uh, in debug mode, or in emulator mode, rather. So it's gonna be really laggy, the screen's gonna flicker. Don't worry about that, that's normal. We just want to get to ADB shell once it's booted back up. I have a black screen on my device. I don't know if that's what I'm supposed to have or not, but I'm gonna go ahead and try and invoke this ADB shell, see what I get. I do have access to the device even though I don't have anything on the screen. In fact, it's an Octothorpe. Some people call that the hash key or the pound symbol. It's the Octothorpe, you can look it up. Now, that's a good thing because once I've completed step eight, my prompt should be an Octothorpe and not a dollar sign. If it's a dollar sign, it didn't work. Go back to step four, try again. Okay, now what we want to do is mount our system partition as read-write. And uh, that, again, we're going to just copy and paste here. We're going to mount dash O space remount comma RW space dash T. Our type is going to be ext4, and this is what we're going to mount. So we'll go ahead and enter on that. 
we're all mounted. Next thing, we're gonna copy SU over to our system folder. Just like that. Next, we are gonna change permissions on that to uh, 06755, just like that. We're up to step 12 if you're following along. At this point, we're gonna set up a symbolic link to SU, or rather, uh, symbolically link SU to xbin slash SU. And uh, that's not how you do it. You right click and hit paste, by the way, guys. Okay, so symbolic link created next. We're going to copy our super user APK over to our system folder. So that's uh, now done. Let's try and change mod this guy so that we can do what we need to with it. This time that worked just fine. Next, if you're following along, we're on step 15. We're going to delete the file that our exploit created, which is a file called local.prop in our data folder. Again, copy and paste that from our article. And there we go. Next up, step 16, we are going to exit this. Now you may need to exit twice. Sometimes you have to exit uh, out of your super user and then exit back. But in this case, I just had to do just one. So that's good. Step 16, complete. Step 17 is we need to type the following. It might not be necessary on the Galaxy Nexus, uh, but it is on other phones that use this. So we're gonna go ahead and do it anyway. This is simply an ADB shell to sync, sync, sync. And there we go. It has sunk, sunk, sunk. Next up, we're going to reboot again. And I hope this will take us out of uh, emulator mode. Uh, step 19 now says done. You should now have root without having to unlock your bootloader. If you want to unlock now, you can without wiping anything. So in this post, again, that we'll have linked at pocketnow.com, there is a link to a bootloader unlocker that you can use once you've gone through this whole exploit. And essentially, it's just going to unlock your phone without doing a wipe. If you do the, the regular uh, OEM unlock, that'll unlock your bootloader, but it, it, it's also going to wipe everything. You can relock it. It's also going to wipe everything. So if you don't want to do that, then you can go ahead and install this and then go through uh, all of the process. So all kinds of fun. Now, if we didn't have root access after doing all of that, we have another step we can do. So let's go ahead and fire up our device here and see what we have, shall we? Now probably the easiest way to see if we have root is to uh, launch up an Android terminal window. So that's what I've done here. You can download any one of dozens of terminal apps from the market or the, uh, the Play Store. I'm an old school guy that way. So now what you'll see is I'm at a dollar sign prompt. And if you remember when we talked about that, it uh, doesn't mean much. So how can we come over here and find out if we've got super user access? We type in SU and we hit enter. It sits and thinks, and then, hey, look at this. We've got a super user request. Let's allow that. And now, if you notice, we have an Octothorpe symbol. So, yes, indeed, we do have super user. We do have root access on our device. So, there we go. We can now do all the cool stuff, install all the cool apps without going through, and OEM, or uh, unlocking the bootloader. Not really OEM unlocking, but unlocking the bootloader. That's that's what we've been able to do here. Big, long, hairy, uh, wow, all kinds of craziness. We didn't have to use step 10B in this process, which uh, changes the owner of super user. Luckily, yay. So if we did, we'd have to go back and do steps 10 through uh, 19 again. But that shows us that we can do it. We're done. We can now enjoy uh, root and super user and all kinds of stuff and we haven't had to wipe or unlock or anything like that. Whew. All right, for the full instructions, head over to pocketnow.com. We're gonna give you the, the brief rundown there. We're also gonna link over to the article at xdadevelopers.com, which is where we were copying and pasting everything from. That's where the files are gonna be for you to download and, and, and copy over onto the device using ADB so you can run through the exploits and whatnot. Did you like what you see? If so, please give us a big thumbs up. It's always kind of scary to 
go through and do all kinds of untested stuff, at least untested by us, on our devices, but we do it so you don't have to be as scared or as worried about it. If you like us doing that, yeah, big thumbs up right there for potentially bricking my device, but I didn't, yay! If you have any questions or comments, head over to pocketnow.com and leave a comment for us. The link to the article is going to be right down there if you're watching this on YouTube. Of course, if you're watching this video on Pocket Now, you're probably already there, so you can just leave a comment down below. We like having all of the conversations over there, so everybody's all in one place, not scattered between Pocket Now and YouTube, and who knows where else you could be. Thanks very much for watching. For Pocket Now, I'm Joe Levi.